Hey guys, so this is my November Birch Box. They both, like my Glossy Box and my Birch Box have both arrived quite late actually. Um, but never mind, I wanted to make a quick video. I've been waiting until the lighting is semi good, but it's a really miserable day today and it is already, I think, almost about half past three in the afternoon. So yeah. So the November Birch Box was um, an Icons Birch Box. So as far as I know, there's Icons like Twiggy and uh, Marilyn Monroe. Let's see. So it looks like this, it comes in just a standard like brown box, not really anything exciting, it is recyclable though so that's always good. And um, they did used to do a birch box magazine just like the glossy box have now started doing, but they now give you these kind of cards like this, and um, I think it just makes it a bit easier actually, and also if, you don't really, if you're not interested in reading it you can just throw it away. So again. It's November and it is the icon box so I assume it would be stuff related to icons. <laughs> Let's see, it says, um, as the nights draw in and the days get shorter we need an extra kick to get out of bed in the morning. So we're getting our motivation from the icons that help us to be the best possible versions of ourselves. Um, inside you'll find a brand headed up by an iconic celeb makeup artist, a nourishing natural product and a little something to highlight your best features. And it says, Psst, keep your eyes peeled for a subscriber exclusive email offer introducing our new limited edition Christmas box. Okay, let's see, shall we? Da, 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 da. So it looks like this. They all come with these little, um, little baggies and each month the strings, like the, the decoration of the bag, it's actually different, like last month I think it was orange and then the month before that it was shocking pink. But funnily enough I think this is my favourite one because favourite colour. Let's see. So just open that up, clear some spaces. So first thing I pulled out is this English laundry fragrance. It just comes in the little normal perfume sample size. Um, it's by Christopher Wicks, it's 2 mils. Let's see what the card says. Uh, a divine delicate fragrance with elegant notes of quince, jasmine, petals and musk. And it's, it says from £16, so I assume they can't really pinpoint how much it's going to be unless, you know, they know what kind of version you'd buy. So it's just small like this and obviously it's the spray one. It does smell quite floral, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that because I'm not a very floral person. But you can definitely smell the musk in there. So it does smell quite festive though, and I would say if you don't use any perfumes like this, a friend would, wouldn't mind really getting one of those in their stockings, so that's alright. And then the next thing I picked up is this Walida Oat Shampoo, and um, it says it's for dry and damaged hair, really. That's not going to focus, I don't think the light's well enough, well enough, good enough to focus. And... It says on here, replenishing oat shampoo, it's £8.95 for the full size, and this is just 18ml. Um, so it says, this gentle shampoo contains nourishing organic joja, hojoba, hojoba oil to smooth, reduce breakage and improve subtleness. Um, yes, that's right. I do actually have quite dry, damaged ends because obviously I heat my hair a lot, like straightening and curling. But, hopefully, never know. And then the next thing I can, not sure how you would pronounce this, it's Lilali or Lilali. And it says you could either get the lip collision, the pigment infusion, or the line define and fill. I got the line define and fill, and it just looks like this. And I assume it's going to be purple, which is quite cool. And it says from £10. So the line defined says a waterproof pencil to define eyes and lips. Let's see. And yeah, it is a bright purple. Um, it is actually a really nice colour. Let's see. It's more like a violet, but I don't think I actually have any kind of lipsticks that would go with that. That's quite nice. And then the next thing is... Oh, it's a, a Laura Mercier body butter 
And in the last birch box we got, we got the um, Radiance Foundation Primer. And this is the Fresh Fig Body Butter. Um, so you could either get Ombre Vanilla or Fresh Fig. I would have actually preferred the vanilla one because I am a fiend for vanilla. But the full size is £26. And this also has Shea Butter, Jojoba, Grape, Seed Oil and Protecting Aloe Vera Gel. And this is a 30 gram sample. So it's not that bad actually for a sample size. It smells really nice. It smells really wintry. I can smell cinnamon in it. Maybe it's the figs talking. Who knows? So that's quite exciting. And then the next thing is this, I'm not sure how you'd say this, Sheila or Cella. It's a highlight pencil and it's in ivory lace highlighter. Yeah. So I'll see if I can swatch that. It is really nice and creamy actually. I'm not sure if you'd be able to see it over here. But it is nice and creamy. I think it would be a bit too dark to highlight like under the eyebrows or the brow bone, but it might be quite good for under the waterline kind of thing. And this is £15.95 for the full size. And I'm not, this looks like a full size kind of pencil. Uh, 1.4 grams. I would assume that this was a full size. Um, and it just says brighten and add glow to areas you wish to accentuate, i.e. Bri bri brow, bones, cheekbones and inner corner of the eyes. It might work in the inner corner of the eyes and on my cheekbones, but I definitely think, as I said, it's too dark for the top of the eyes. Um, but it's always good to experiment. I mean, it is quite a peachy colour. It's not like um, a white colour. And then we got a little goodie and it's a pencil sharpener. And you've got the two holes for the small or the big. And this says it's £3. What I like about this though is it's actually got the lid to it. So, you know, like in school when you used to sharpen your pencils and the shavings used to go everywhere. This won't happen with this and it just collects up in the lid and then you can empty it out into the bin. Let's see. And I actually think that's really cute. I love the fact that they're all coming in like these little organza bags. Instead of just popping them into the box, they do actually take a lot of care on what they send you and how the products look when they get to you. And then the reason I love Birchbox is because they always give a lifestyle extra. I think at the moment they are a step up on um, Glossy Box, and that's the reason I subscribe to them. Um, but as I said, they always give you a lifestyle sample. I love getting little samples to try out. And the lifestyle sample we got this month was three Pukka tea bags. And it says £2.29, I assume for either, it says selection of teas. So I assume it would either be like £2.29 for the kind of tea temples or a little box of them. But the ones we got are three cinnamon and then we got elderberry and echancia and we got a gorgeous Earl Grey. Now I'm not a huge tea drinker, I do like my herbal teas though. So I would be really interested to try that. So that's it for November's Birch Box. I mean, the product quality is always good, and um, as I said, my last three or four glossy boxes, I haven't been too impressed with them, and my glossy box did come today as well, so I'll record that and try and get that up either today or tomorrow, but I know this video is going to take forever to download, and because um, my previous video took, I think, seven hours, which is ridiculous, um, but yeah. I would definitely recommend checking out the website of the Birch Box, especially if you're looking for high-end products and good size samples. So I'll link everything down below and you can go check it out. And if you are subscribed to Birch Box, just leave me a comment below or like a video response with what you got in your Birch Box because I'd be really interested to see what other products people got. So I will see you in my next video, guys.